Bonsoir la famille, bonsoir la famille, comment vous allez Est-ce que déjà vous m'entendez bien Je fais des petits trottos, je regarde, est-ce que ça se fait Ah, il ah, n'y a pas de maquilleuse ici, hein. on fait tout tout seul. Ça va, ça va la famille, oh, ça fait plaisir de vous voir mm -hmm. Comme... English, yes, English, what's up my people Wow, I'm very glad to see all of you on time. Oh my God, and I'm not even ready. Look at this. It's still too light here. Oh my God, don't look at the makeup today. Franchement, I'm sorry, I'll be late. But, fuck it. Sorry. At least, can you hear me? Hello. Hello, Ayrton. Hello. I, I have to remind you guys, the French version of Belle Noire is on Friday. But if you do want to participate and have something to say about it, feel free. I am here for that. Yes? <laughs> I know why you're late. I late mean, because uh, those kids doesn't want to sleep tonight. So, you know, I have to find a way. And then I couldn't find my pleasure. Blah, 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 blah. Excuses, excuses. I'm still here. And don't forget, it's 10.30. So it's five minutes, yeah? Ah, thank you, thank you, I'm very glad. I hope you guys can hear me properly. Can you let me know? Because last time when I look at it, uh, I know you guys have some issue to, to hear me. Can you hear me now? Yes, oh my God, there's so many of you. I can't even read it properly. Oh, I'm gonna have to wear the glasses this time. <laughs> um okay can you hear me guys can you hear me let me know if you can hear me i want to know yes oh thank you can you hear me very well i hope you read right there because uh oof, i can't really okay oh what it says what is it? yeah that's better loud and clear okay oh my god okay okay let me get my drink because uh I need a drink tonight, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Here I am. So, tonight we say we're going to talk about what? Pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Pregnancy. Not only pregnancy, but how you value your woman life when you are a mother. Yes. You guys been asking me, uh, how do I do to organize because... I remind you, I have four children. Oh, okay. All right. But I will, I, I will, when, when you guys have some questions, I will have them because otherwise, okay. Okay. All right. I know. Okay. I got it. I got it. So, yes, I have four children. It's not the end of the world. And I hope that you had a chance to check my Mel Noir on video on YouTube, melnoir.j. Or you check on my Instagram and then you can see a bit of my life. You go also on my Melnoir Mum where you will see me, my life as a mother. So, and I also hope that you guys have your partner next to you. That you have people where you want to share some views. It will be interesting to have them and hear what they have to say about it. So yes, I did have four children and that was the end of the world, obviously no, and I didn't have them all together, but I must admit it was a challenge. And for that, a lot of people used to say, but after your first child, there's no way you can go back to your size. Um, I was a size 10, 12, well, I did, I did go to the size 14, I must admit, but then it was to a certain extent after my, my first pregnancy. And it wasn't like I was expected. And I'm pretty sure for all of you it was the same. So when we say about how can you value your woman's life, you need to be aware of a lot of things before you can do that. And I've done some research as well. Yes. I have like, I read an article who was saying, um, for this, you need to be a high-value woman. 
<laughs> what they say, Harvey? You remind me of this Mr. Kevin Samuels. He used to talk about that, but rest in peace, boy. But anyway, and then they say that obviously, for you guys to be like a high valued woman, for you guys who, that, who have no clue or what it means, or you're not certain about the meaning of it, a high value woman. She knows her real value for a start. She's aware of what she is. She's highly desirable. She has a high standards for people to, to talk to her and so on, to have to share an intimate relationship. You have to get that level, right? Follow me on that one. They also say that value men, high value men, they love a person who is passionate about something other than themselves and also the passion shows something that you guys are spiritually independent but when you have no of this passion hmm? how you can value yourself when you have a baby and that your body has changed how do you do that how do you do that when you lost your confidence because you do, you do not do your size 10 as you used to? That you're, you, you have a big breast? It, it may look sexy for some, but some are not used to it. You have a belly. You've been eating too much, obviously, because you're breastfeeding. How can you feel yourself as a sexy woman? Do you feel it, my people? And that's where I'm thinking this manual has to help all the women in the world. Because we all be do doing the talking, talking, but we know that it is hard to go back to our normal size. But it's not the physical, because if you can't with the time, it starts in your head. And I think when it starts um, after one or three months, and you realize that you will not have your, the same body right now, that's where the trouble starts. Because obviously, you don't know where to start. You go and ask for some advice to your friends, isn't it? But what type of friends have you got? Or your mother. What type of mother did you have? Or do you have? What type of family do you have? Are they supporting you? And your partner, the baby father. Does he support you on that journey? To be as a woman, when you are a mother, is a warfare. Yes, you may say, oh, it is a manoir. You really like your warfare, warfare, everything. But I'm telling you, it's your first warfare, your battle of mind. Because a lot of things will come to your mind. You will start to doubt about your skills as a mother. It will affect your skills as a woman as well. Let me tell you one thing. I notice, trust me, that when the baby starts to cry and like between zero and six months before you understand them, you inside of your head you're a bit lost. Tell me if I'm wrong. Because you have a new organization to have. And then you have your partner who doesn't know where to put himself. And sometimes the partner doesn't help. And you are on your own facing this new baby, right? And that's where this, the bad thoughts start to come. And you doubt about yourself. You see others put some makeup looking good. And you say, oh, I used to be like this before I had a kid. And then you start to envy or become bitter or depressed. So for this, guys, you need to do one thing is to promote your living life. How? Okay, you have your baby, but you have to talk to yourself. You are a woman first. Forget about the partner. Think about yourself. Because everyone has to go on his own path, isn't it? Take the time to enjoy your baby. When you sleep, look at yourself and talk to yourself. 
But when the baby is grown up, don't worry, it will take at least a year. But during that year, you have a lot of adjustment to do with yourself. You have a lot of talking you have to do to yourself. And the third thing is, check what you're eating. Your confidence will not come like this because you feel like, yes, I have to be powerful, I have to be independent, I have to be strong as a mother. No. Look at what you do during your day. Okay, you have the kid, but what do you do yourself? Because normally when you're breastfeeding, you're losing weight. But what are you eating? What type of food? You can't eat your fufu. You can't eat your, your jollof rice. You can't eat all of this. It's no problem. It's actually strong and good. Even your Guinness is good if you're breastfeeding. But if you start to eat, eat, eat too much, even after you're breastfeeding, it becomes a problem because you don't exercise. Think about yourself. Don't wait for people to let you know. Look at yourself. And that's why we have the issue. We forget because you have the children, but that's not an excuse. You have to change your organization. Obviously, you have to wake up early to do certain things. It, but start with your prayers. As sorry to God, I will not talk enough about God. Praying change everything. It helps you to focus. If you're not a believer, meditate about what you would like to achieve during this day. When times get hard with your child because you can't sleep enough and you feel like you are not supported enough with your partner, say that is an assignment for you to succeed. How can I do to make it better? Ask yourself and you will do it. But because you're not on your own, when you have the baby, you will have your family. It's very rare to have absolutely nobody to help you. But we talk to the ladies who has a partner. You need to start talking. Yes. The people who has a partner next to you. Sometimes the partner we say is new for him. So somehow he's going to feel, he's going to act a bit laid back towards the situation with a new baby. Because he's a woman thing. Oh, because you don't want to breastfeed. I can't help you. Oh, my mom used to do that. Oh, you. What are you doing yourself? If you guys want to have a strong woman, it's good. But if you want to keep that strong woman, we need to see the input, the effort that you're doing with that woman, the mother of your child. What effort are you doing? If you don't know something, oh my God, you have YouTube, you have your friends and family to show you. But show the support. It's not by only saying, it's going to be all right. It's actually doing some action. But that's a lot of you say, yes, I will improve. Yes, I will do it. But they don't do it. And that's why it turns sour in the relationship. We started with the helping of every day to give me, give me, you see, I feel like I talk to myself, but to give the wife sometimes to relax, to rest. Don't forget she just deliver a baby. It's something that you guys will never know. So you need at least to assist, to support her while she's going through this journey. By looking after the kid, because for most of the time is also the first time for the lady the same way as a man is your first time to experience um the a journey with your own child your own baby the wife the partner the mother has the same issue it's her first time how do you do that you must do it together and for this i noticed there is some problem and that's where it comes. You're losing your confidence because you don't have enough time for yourself. You look at, uh, on, you look at the mirror and you see yourself like another person. You feel lonely. You, although you are with your partner, but the fact that you are on your, on your own to do all of it, you feel lonely. How can you have time to think about yourself when you feel lonely? You need to fill up that gap, that uh, 
emptiness. And sometimes you don't even have time by doing some sport, some shopping, because you have the child, the baby. And you can see that the partner will not handle the situation. But does he want to learn? That's the question. You can show him, you can express him, but if the, the partner is not willing to learn, it becomes a problem. It means you are, you are both of you, you are in different, in different paths. He has in front of him a woman, his wife, whose body has changed, her mood has changed, her personality maybe also has changed. But that's his perception. What about you? As a mother. Okay, you can do the effort to do the routine. But he has said to you, before you become that, find a way for you to value yourself as a woman when you're a mother. I said, I'm going to talk to those ladies who have a partner, a husband, a boyfriend. To live together, to, to raise that child. I'm going to talk to you first. And then we're going to talk with the others. You want to feel good, but there is also some problem inside of you. And you cannot ignore it. And I'm going to be loud because I want your partner to hear what is those issues. Because he may have heard, I'm telling you, it's real. And to make sure I don't forget anything, I even done some research. The discharge. All the physical... All the sexual things, we're going to talk about it. So guys, I hope that you are in an environment where you can feel uh, confident to hear the truth. That you don't feel uh, shy because it's going to hurt your, I don't know, it really hurt your feelings. But we're going to talk about that. So be ready. Men, husband, daddy, you need to know what the hell is going on in your woman. There is some discharge that comes after the delivery. And then it's male. I heard some men say, oh, this is my wife, but something has changed. She smells a lot. No. That's a discharge. The mother, go and have your shower. Every single day. I know you are tired. I know it's new for you. But... To gain confidence, you need to fight to make some effort, sacrifice, get your shower done. Don't use too much chemicals. You know how the vagina is very sensitive. No even soap. It has to be water. Or oh, without uh, soap free. It has to be it. They said um, for those issues as well, you also have pain during sex yes man you think that because she gives the baby that everything's gonna come back as normal no the vagina has to support a lot of things but your things deep deep is painful especially for ladies who deliver with the vagina it's painful so men listen to that it's not that because her body has changed of course it has changed but it has it takes time to go back it takes time and you need to give her that time and that's why we're having those issues between the couple because he can't have sex with his woman so what does he do cheating having affairs because oh i have to i have to do something but I, my sex drive is this is selfish warfare it's good to have a baby, but look how it goes. The body is not the same. It's painful when you're having sex. It means that both of you has to work it out now. Warfare. You will have your friends. If you are a man, you will say, oh, I used to have the same problem. You need to have your side chic. And then, you know, that's why you have, you have to get a side chic for this. Uh, the devil is a liar don't you notice that when you are weak sexually 
that's where all the problem comes and you think that you have the right to cheat no because with God if you are scared of this big spirit you have to be careful of how you behave yourself especially when the woman who has put in this world your child she carry nine months of pain and you can't have this you can't make this effort you need to check yourself you need to check yourself at that time you will see who are your real friends who are the one who really want you your good who will give you right the right advice because the flesh is weak but when you become stronger big things happen and today you will see in the household a lot of broken family and you start most of the time during the after pregnancy actually because women and men are not able to talk openly and say the same as and talk the truth between each of them yes miss crowd you say stressful vagina no i i, I have i have seven points on that but i want this point to be clear for all the men because that's where in the relationship it, be, it becomes hard to stay together because of sex the woman has a lot of things to deal with with her new body but you man use external you see your, your your partner like this because you still have your muscle you still have your work to go you still have your life back to normal although you have a baby but no one can see physically that you're a dad but for the woman you, you can't even, you have to notice. The belly is there, the, the boobs are, you know what. Woman, you need, to, you need to let them know that it's painful. Don't pretend, don't hurt yourself. The more you keep quiet, the less you will feel attractive. The less you will regain your confidence. You need to have a honest, I really say a honest, honest conversation with your partner about it. And that can go very far away. Oh yes, we do have some tips when it's painful. Yes, you can do the fair, the, um, what do you call it again? Um, like doing some kind of touchy touching before you're having sex, just to decontract, uh, just to feel better, you know? Just to get in the mood. Because she's not a machine, she's not gonna open her legs and you go, go charge it, no. You need to reassure her that she's still pretty, that you still love her. <laughs> if you have to go down to the south, go down to the south to make her feel good. Yes. But if you don't play this way, how you want her to savour those moments, those intimacy moments? You can use also some issue. Lubricant. The lubrifiant. Lubricant, as you say here. Because, of course, after your pregnancy, sexually, your vagina can be dry. Yes, it can be dry. It happens. And that is due because your estrogen level is low. So what you can do, you can add some supplement to uh, moisturize a little bit your vagina. You can go and speak to the GP for that, for your doctor or your midwife. They can give you some good advice and medicine as well or simply use um, lubricant on it base water base water base that change everything as I said you have to avoid to use strong chemicals on this area the vagina and then the width of of your cookie may be slightly loose I say wide Obviously, you've just passed the delivery, so you can understand. But for this, you must push yourself. I know how we are tired after we give birth, but you need to push yourself to do the pelvic exercises. You have to do the pelvic exercise, or you can check online the K-Gel, K-E-G-E-L exercise to help you to, to, to make it more stronger, the muscle of your vagina to make it stronger and more tighter. So all of this you can find it online. 
there will be also some soreness and and stitches on your vagina and that's going to make a lot of pain so that's why the man need to understand what a woman go through when you understand this then you know it's time for you to change yes become a man is good but when you're a man with a new baby and a wife you are forced to change you cannot be the same person as before the same way the woman cannot be the same woman after pregnancy it's not possible because a baby is there adjustment needs to be done honest honesty has to be work on it woman you need to be patient with your man but don't give up don't take strong decision and you said well, women all of this remember is to value you cannot value your wife your woman life if it's not clear in your mind with your partner because the 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 time that you're going to make some effort some bad spirit will come and remind you look at what your partner does he doesn't help you and you forget about yourself so if you have one a partner talk to him straight up how can we do it together where are we where are we going okay we have a child but i notice that your behavior doesn't change la 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 la, la. how can we do hello hello oni et félicitations I'm, I'm really talking for, for, for you, for the husband today, because a woman, when she has a baby, she cannot be the same. <laughs> love you too, love you too. Um, she cannot be the same, I'm sorry. So it's not because, you, men has expectation that a woman stay woman all her life, even if she's a mother. She has to make an effort. But what about you? What about you? Yes, I'm talking to you. you. When the baby is there, everyone has to change. It's not only one side. It's not because you're a man. If you want to see a woman succeed, have a beautiful woman, you need to support her on that journey. Now, I'm going to address to the lady who has no man. Because it's clear in your head, you are on your own for that shit. Hey, you're on your own. You can't expect him to help you. It's clear, crystal clear. What do you do? You look after yourself, girl. You organize better because you are mentally prepared that you are on your own for this journey. Forget about any surprises. You're on your own. So you have to be proactive. Organize yourself in the morning. Schedule and stick to it you have to change 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 and change i will never say it enough because you have a baby there you just need to reorganize yourself differently it's possible use your cream at night you have the daytime nighttime cream all of this using it mentally get yourself prepared because it's going to be hard. But because I always talk about single women, I want again to go back with the one who's got a partner. Because the society today make mothers change. Mothers become father, they become uh, mom, they become breadwinner, they become God. They have too many, too many responsibilities. And that's not normal. It means that we have a problem with all men. Having a strong woman who can take care of herself, uh, if you have a look at it, it's not a good thing. Because it means she has no choice. She's a warrior. But men supposed to be in this earth to help a woman. Even in the Bible, God, it didn't took a woman born to create a man. It took the bone from a man to create that Eve. Even if, if 
has pushed or whatsoever influenced uh, Adam, as they said, to eat the, the apple, Adam eats it because he has a woman. He used to take care of that woman. That's why you have to choose your woman carefully before you have a child with it. Because where you put your seeds, it's not only you, it's your family. Your uncle, your grandpa, your grand, 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 grandpa, your grand, 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 granny, from both sides. Can you imagine all the spirits who come from different sides of your both family in one child? It's a lot. Now when you come with parents who has trauma and they have a child, a pregnancy, it's hard. Both trauma join together and trauma who is still not being um, looked after create a baby. And during those pregnancies, you will feel a lot of attack. Maybe the problems will come from, no, from nowhere, but you will be there. It will affect your pregnancy, it will affect your mental. So that's why sometimes you have complications during pregnancy. Stress level, blood pressure, where does it come from? Who gives you that blood pressure? Family or your partner? That's why after when you give birth, you feel depressed. Emotionally, you can't take it no more. Your partner, what is he doing to help, him, to help you? That's why I think this man not today is not even for the woman actually, it's for the man. You need to hear it. You ha man has to grow up. If I can have a man to participate, please let me know. Go, go, go and show me your face or, or at least let's hear it. Because you see some man, they behave very good with the other children from the family. They're very family orientated. But when they come to their own ones, it feels like they forget about all the skills they had done. And leave it back to the mother. But that's the same man who's going to criticize this mother. Because you're not helping. Because mentally you think she has to, is supposed to come naturally. No, it doesn't come naturally. I'm telling you. Some, poop, some women can't, some don't, but it's not natural. It's like cooking. No one just wake up and know how to cook. You have to learn. You will have mistakes. You will burn a lot of things before you become excellent, right? It's the same with a baby. It's both sides. And with a woman, it's not only you helping with the baby, but you also have to reassure her by giving action, doing action for her. Make her a cup, a cup of tea. Massage her feet. Make her feel like she's in the house and acknowledge your presence. By asking you what you want to watch tonight, let we do something together. The babies are sleeping, she's tired. Don't always think about sex. She doesn't need sex. You need to rebound together. Because if you're doing more than having sex or just change a nappy, but you try to invo involve yourself on her daily basis, like on doing the housework, on asking her a point of view about, is it the way you're doing it? Or can you show me how you do it? It could be for for a meal or how she she watched the the certain thing i don't know uh, the tv how she de dusted anything ask her point of view look for appreciation because he make her oh actually he even ask me how to do it i can see he want to help me so i must make sure that i behave myself that i can see that i'm lucky to have a man who's helping me let him make him feel also special by having a special lady. That's why now she will take care of herself because you show her appreciation. When you live together and you have a child, it's a team. If you want your woman to look like a proper woman, 
man, you have to change. You need to step up your game. Sexually is going to be very challenging, especially if you are strongly active sexually. Because I have something you say is what where they say that I think it's 37. Yeah, 37.5 percent of women feel the pain when they have sex after delivery. And you have 43.3 percent of women. We don't even think about sex after delivery. So it's not only your wife, your partner, your baby mother. No, it's not only her. It's a lot of women who've been through that same situation who's feeling this way. It's facts. Which means that you guys have an assignment as well. If you want, because even the doctor will tell you that your, the sex drive will come back naturally. But don't force it. Don't push it. It will come naturally. But if it comes naturally, what do you do? Because a woman, you all know, she has love. And if she doesn't feel loved, she will never do. She will never be motivated to do better, to make you happy. Women, I'm talking to you now. Don't give only yourself excuses because, oh, I just give birth, so that's why, no. No, it's not only him for that. How do you take criticism? How do you take criticism? I want to know. If you guys have a say, please ask the questions. I'm here for that tonight. When your husband telling you something, like, for instance, yeah, uh, it's been six months. Uh, we are, uh, we have the baby, but you you let yourself go. You don't go out. You you don't put makeup anymore. I don't find you attractive. How do you feel when your man say that to you? Sometimes you feel, oh my God, but this man is man. I just give birth. La 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 la. Excuses. I know it hurts your feeling, but you have to answer him honestly close your eyes if you can't even look at him in the eyes and tell him that it hurts because you don't feel confident tell tell him how you feel but i know a lot of women we take our time talking talking when we're feeling bad and then at the end the man doesn't listen because for him he just complain 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 so I'm turning myself to you, man, daddy, father, husband, partner. When your woman is talking to you, complaining about how she feels, don't say, oh, she's doing all this nagging, nagging, nagging. And you look at the woman behind and she's looking good. And she also have a baby, but she's looking good. But you don't know why and how she does that. Everybody is different. Me, I remember, I, I, I remember when uh, the father of my daughter told me that you will never go back to your size. You're fat. You're too big. Yes, me. <laughs> yeah, I heard it. You're not the only one. <claps> Platform where we share experience. I'm telling you, you're too fat. You saw the poster I gave. You saw my free pregnancies woman me as Mel Noir, Leticia I had for my first baby I took 64 kilos yes my first pregnancy I took 64 kilos my second 124 and then it's okay 20, then 125 and my last one 100 and 15, I think 15 as well, kilos. How do I put on weight? I know when I'm pregnant, I eat for four, five, seven people. It feels like my mouth is developed and appetites for fufu. Don't ask me for any healthy food. No, I, I used to eat a lot of spinach fresh 
but that was like a string gum in my mouth because I needed real thing. I used to eat and sleep, eat and sleep. When I go outside to eat, I want to make sure that my table is facing the wall because I don't want to say, hey, hi, oh, how you doing? How are you? I don't want to be disturbed while I was eating my food. Result? I can't complain. I was fat. But then you see people around you. You will see who is your real friend, people who really like you, and people who really hate you, or people who just can't stand them. I heard so many things. Oh, you will never go back to your sizes. Oh, yes. I even asked my mom, and she was telling me, when you put on weight, Leticia, because you had the baby, you have to go outside. I said, I just had the baby, I'm breastfeeding. My mom, my Vero, in tout cas, she changed my life for that. I will never, I will never, never forget that. My mom for that is number one. Because I said, mommy, I really feel ugly. How am I going to lose 64 kilos after pregnancy? The woman I used to, we used to go clubbing. She saw me one day. I will not say her name, but she will recognize herself in France. Plus PLC. I'm not going to say who. And she said, you look so fat. When you used to come and see, see you, uh, when you used to come from London and you go clubbing in Paris, you used to be so skinny, so lifey. And now look at you. How are you going to do that? It hurts my feelings. I sat down like this. I don't know what to do. It hurts my feeling. Criticism killed me. And so but maybe as well, I used to have a sale bouche. I used to have bad, but I was very bad at that time. So I said, maybe it's the payback. And it hurts. But instead of saying, oh my God, she was right. Oh my God, I was bad. The devil is a liar. Oh, the devil is a liar. I had to regain on my confidence. I put my money in new shopping. I used to have a big afro like this, big breast, big everywhere. That was my best time. My best time for that. Because I realized that I have to embrace it. Okay, you had a child, it's not the end of the world, but enjoy it. So enjoy with what you can. So I had to go outside, do shopping, and I said, oh, that's what my mom used to say. You have to go outside. After you have a baby, don't stay too much at home because the life is still going. The fact that you will see women taking care of themselves, it make you feel like, oh, I, I can do it as well. Although you will breastfeed your baby, you will still thinking that, oh, how can I do this, exfol I exfoliate my, my face. Because the, the fact you went outside, you see other things. I used to have some masks, you know, the black mask. When after pregnancy, you have the pregnancy mask. And everything was swollen on my face, my, my nose. Uh, here, it was full of black marks, like I had a tattoo. And I was kind of saying, Mommy, is it going to go? I, my, my, my skin is a bit dry. Everything is changing. I don't know. My mom said, Leticia, Mel Noir, go to Sephora. Speak to those ladies. They will find, they will give you some product. Every, you are not the first lady who has a baby. You will have thousands, and there was thousands before you. So trust me, you will find your right product. And it's true. Start to exfoliate with Clarence. The product Clarence really helped me to go through. Exfoliate. Do the mask, put the essential oil, it's gone. So it was possible because I went out. It was possible because I have family support. But when you have a partner who doesn't support you, look at you in your struggle. It's a wake up call. It's not for you to spend your time complaining. It's a time for you to stand up and say, I have to become a warrior wherever I like it or not. Because you guys, what you don't know, 
your sorrow, the fact that you feel sad, especially when you breastfeed, all this emotion will go through your baby. The baby can be frustrated, he will cry, he will, he will cry, 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 cry. That's why some parents, they say they don't have any sleep, they don't have any intimacy, blah, blah, blah. Because the, the tension in the house comes from there. The tension. If the man doesn't support his wife, the baby mother, even if you broke up, you will have repercussion on the baby. Your woman life has to be there successfully if the man is there. If your man is ready to accept the help of your partner. If your partner change the behavior. To tell you the truth, after pregnancy, after a baby, a change, you be, you're no more a woman, you become a mother. A man, we still have the same word, is a man. But we said a real man. As there is the homeboy, there is the boy, but there is a real man with a grand H. Because he changed his way of organizing himself. He act like a father because he taking care of his son or daughter and he also take care of the wife. Man, what we say taking care of the wife is not only financially. Tout le monde travaille. Everyone is working. The lady you supporting her, we're talking about the real support, the mental support. Talking is something, actions speak louder. Why is it always me who have to change the nappy? Oh, I don't like because he poof. Please go, 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 go. No. Man up. Man up. As a man, man up. Upgrade. Upgrade yourself. Change the diaper. Yeah, be scary. Oh, that's a woman thing. Today the woman's working as well. It was a man thing, but the woman is doing it. So why you man cannot change your, the diapers? One more thing. All these small, small things that you think is irritating, like changing the nappies, uh, prepare the, the bottles and stuff, is maybe annoying, but trust me, that will help you to bond with your child later. I have four children, and when the father come and see my firstborn, for instance, it's always like, I can't believe that this one is, is the one that used to change the nappy. The one I used to do this, to do that, to do that. Today is 15 years old. And you feel proud of yourself. Strong sense of achievement. But when you try to run away because you, you, for you it's a choice and you prefer to enjoy with your friend, God is watching you. That's why the, we say that the, the um, children, they're very close to their mothers. Because they share this intimacy with their mother because they always see their mothers doing the things for them. But they don't see the father doing it. So who are they trying to copy? You get me now? As a father, you need to change. You know, sometimes you, you want to be like your friend. Yeah, but your, if your friend doesn't respect his own wife, he doesn't respect his own family, what would you... Take example with that, that guy who spent time uh, on, in bars or parties or even at the gym. But he doesn't support his love life. You need to check your feelings. Yes. You guys need to, change your, you, to check your feelings. Because when you have a child as a woman, is it not, is it not a punishment? It's supposed to be a blessing. So you need to embrace your woman's side on it. Because the baby loves to see a woman happy, his mother happy. If no one helping you to get this happiness, you need to help yourself. Because it will impact a lot in your child's life, I'm telling you. For you to become a strong woman, a beautiful woman, the woman that you always wanted to be, you need to look at your own asset and work on your asset, which is 
the father of this child, yourself, your family, your surroundings, the help, how you can work it out to make you your life easier. High value woman, high standards, it starts from the head first. But for you to have your, your mind clear, you need to see who is in your team. And if the partner choose to be behind, he choose the easy path. And what is the easy path? Satan. The devil. El Shetan. You choose to go because you can't support her because she's too much after the pregnancy. She's too much. You prefer to leave her alone. Yeah, do. Don't complain if your children doesn't respect you later on. Be careful of how you react or how you act with her, with the mother of your child. Respect that. Oh, now my child is team up with, um, with the, her mother so they don't want to talk to me. Because of what? What have you been doing so far? Because if you, leave, you give all the control to the mother, then you have nothing. That's why you cannot, you, you cannot be there. You cannot even be, you get ignored. But if you try to push yourself for the better, to be honest with your, your partner, talking real, yes, I want to have sex with you, but I can't have this because you are in this situation. You, I feel I, have, I am tempted to do bad things. Give this alert to your wife. So then she will try to find something else to make you hold on to your appetite for sex. But if you keep it for yourself because you're scared to hurt her feeling, shit will happen. And, you will, and how many households, how many families broken because of the stupidness? Because men cannot mentally support their wife. Their partner, simple as that. How many times you're going to let the, the devil talk into you and, and be tempted by the easy path? Cheating. Ignoring her. Not showing appreciation. Not valuing your wife while she's, she's dealing with your child. The world that we live today is very, very, very scary, I'm telling you. Check the social media. Everyone wants to look good. Or after babies, look at how, how I look like. But they don't I tell you how they really do. I can share my story because I've done it four times four times and I can tell you the four times one recipe will never change is your mental health with God when you are true and honest with God and what you want to achieve with the father of your child even if you are no more together because you have to be scared when you bring a life in earth it comes with the spirit of the both of your families and if we want to break the circle we need to change our behavior do better better um, decisions I feel lazy today I don't want to help her it's a woman job let her be the fact that you think like this the reaction of the mother overloaded a spirit her, her mind start to close up she will feel depressed she will be moody she will give feel the tension she can get sick she can your love will disappear the children will suffer just because you choose it's not your problem you deal with yourself you choose to not change when you listen to criticism from your wife, she's not nagging. She is sharing. Of course, sometimes you guys are not ready to hear the truth because it hurts. But think about that baby there. Her mental health is, this, is really important for, 
for her to feel happy. If you mothers decided to do it on your own, it's your right. I did it. But you must speak to the father of the child. If he's willing to hear. Because sometimes they, would, they went to complain to their other family. But they're not ready to change. They don't care of the, of the child. No, they don't care. They give you the money, yes. But they don't give you the attention to the baby because themselves they are full of trauma they say oh I saw my mother deal with the children on her own um, I, I, how, how do I did that turn up not bad so she, they, she, they will survive and did you break the family circle like this no the mother become also depressed like your own mother but you have to break, 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 break the circle by changing your attitude. Mothers and father, break the circle. Do better. By acting better, the mental will be better. If someone is nice to you, the only thing you want to do to that person is to treat her nice as well. If she show you love, you want to show him love. But if the person you should, because you're going to tell me that, oh, but I've done this, this, this for, for my wife, but she still doesn't, uh, she's still, she's still different. She's still not good. She's never satisfied. Then the become becomes, the problem becomes you, the woman. If the man gives you all this support, he's been very patient, but you choose to, what is the result? Hmm? How do you expect him to, to stay with you? Because you can only give him the opportunity to see what he's looking for somewhere else. Simple. If, you're, if I'm not fully happy in the house, I'm going to go to the restaurant, take a dessert, take another plat de résistance. It's like this. That's why women, you want to be a woman beautiful like this, you have to go straight with yourself from day one. No time, no more game. A child is there. If you want to, if you want to feel happy, you need to go straight to the point. What do you want to achieve together? So then in your mind, you know how to do it. You know how to, to change sexually. Okay, it's painful. But we know that women sometimes we we can be moody and then the fact you have your period, you're not in the mood, everything changed, you had the baby, blah blah blah. And the man is just in the urge, he wants to, he, he wants that thing. And you can't give it to him. Because you're not in the mood, your body doesn't allow you. The man has to step up. He needs to say, ah, my woman doesn't want to open her leg again. How can I do to make it better? It's not in one day. It's not because you, it's not about telling her, "Oh, you're pretty. I love you. I show you flowers." Oh no, it's not that. Hello, director. Purple, long time. I'm still here. But it is by doing things with her, acknowledge her, acknowledge her need. I know it's going to be challenging, but today I want to stay with the baby. You do you. Oh my God. The day she will hear that, he will do something in her heart. Maybe she forget about you, but the fact that you said that, it will change the whole thing. Because you propose her some time for herself. If she has good people around her, they will motivate her to feel good, to be more pretty, more attractive. She will see, she will go back to do her exfoliating the face, taking care of her clothes, put some, a bit of makeup and so on, taking care of the house, put some music in the house. The atmosphere will be good because you took in charge just one day for the baby. 
that's how you families can stay together when you engage when you share your responsibilities but when you don't want to be part of it you see a lot of women depressed they don't take care of themselves they want they're doing one two days and the third day she's going back the devil is a liar you see some bitter women, bitter mothers who don't even give back the love to their children because they haven't received the love from their mothers and they still don't have the support of their father. Break the circle. Break the circle. Choose to do the right thing. Choose to do the right thing. Ask yourself some questions. It's no point to say you are responsible for that. You do not help me for this. I will do this. Go straight to the point. You're having issues sexually. Let's discuss it. Even if I don't want to hear it, I will hear it. It will hurt my feelings, maybe, but we need to find a solution together. Don't be greedy. Most of the time I can hear is women who say that, uh, obviously, I said before that the pain during sex, um, the fact that the vagina is big, especially when you have stitches, uh, like episiotomy after the delivery, for, to, for the delivery, is painful. Man, you have to see that this is a test also for you. You have to change. You have to be, to change your game with your wife. You have to find some, some activities to do together without having sex. You need to bond together without having sex. You, okay, if sex is so important, do some fair play with some games, with some sex toys. Don't necessarily look for the pen penetration, but just go smoothly with the body, massage her. Have a nice conversation. Have a night with Netflix. Bonding. Bonding is important. Go and do the shopping with her. Go inside the kitchen when she's cooking. Go together. Try to see in the house how you can make yourself useful in her new life as a mother. Try to do things together. Don't involve too much your parents. Your friends. No, it's time to consolidate your family. S try to know how to communicate. Because all of this will open the doors in her mind to feel more attractive, to be, feel more desirable, to feel more part of her new life. When you do things together, but when you are on your own, you need to check the facts. No one will help you. So you have to make a choice. Are you want to be that, that mother who is bitter? Always upset? And look like nothing is going on in her life? Or you want to be that perfect woman? Look for some role models and go through it. Oh, she did that. She was on her own and she was working. She was going to the gym. She was doing this. I want to be that woman. I'm going to do that. Yes, this is what I've done myself. When they were insulting me, like, you will never go back to your size, you never go back to your sizes. I take all those criticisms, I take it, I accept it. What I've done with that, I work. I work. I work. Work, 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 work. At home, do my sit up, taking my diet. Try to read a log, where blah, 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 read some radical, acknowledge your problem, look for some solution. Not too much on your friends. Check, go and look for the facts. You have internet now and you will do it. Your woman life will only depend on you, nobody else. If you choose to be strong, to be happy, it's up to you. The devil is a liar. It will always come to make you feel shit. There will be some up and down. There will be some depression there. Yes. Sometimes it's after you have a baby, it's normal. 
you feel like shit every day, you are tired, nothing is going on, nothing exciting you anymore, you, you just want to give it up. Worse, you, you have feelings you want to hurt your own baby. When you're screaming, you can't stand the scream anymore. That's why you have a lot of women who kill their own babies because they can't take the pressure no more. They're on their own. We don't know what they have. Trauma's coming back because the devil is just waiting for that. Oh, she start to have the red. Look, look, look. She can't, she, she's about to give it up. Ali, they come with all the bad memories. They come with all your trauma all together like an army. Boom, 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 boom. And they come to your head and they talk to you. They talk to you. What do you do? Kill yourself. You start to re have a lot of regret. You try to insult your partner. Warfare. That's the proper warfare. That's why you need to pray, God. When you finish to pray, you stand up. Action plan. Action plan. Words. Action speak louder than words. Remember that. When you are not sure, remember I have to stand up. God is here for a reason. When we are in the dark, God is there. You don't believe in God, it's fair enough. Karma is there. If you don't look for that positive energy, the bad energy will come. That's why we need to fight against it by being positive, looking for something positive to look for it. Man, support your woman. Change the way you behave. What you used to do before you had a child, you need to become a grown man. Change your behavior. Try to consolidate what you have already with your partner by doing more action together, by talking to her about your daily life, your new struggle with the baby. Tell her what you can't do with, what you don't feel comfortable with the baby, what you don't feel comfortable with her sexually. If you cannot talk together, speak with a therapist, a psychologist, but you need to fix it. They say, I should fix it, Jesus. But I say to you, fix it together. A lot of women are there. They take care of themselves while they are mothers. It's because they have a strong, convic a strong conviction they can do it. And when they are powerless, they think about God. Me personally, God is my witness. God is my savior. The rest... The, the human being showed me that they were weak as fuck. So I have to pray. And when I finish my prayers, I need to do it. I said before my previous Mel Noir, just do it. It's good to see the finish line, but it's a long process. It's not going to be easy. But if you make the effort and you choose in your mind that it's going to be all right, and you will do it, you have the answers. you already done much. Don't be scared about your body changing. It's part of the process. Everything comes with a sacrifice. You had a baby now, it's official. Your body's showing it. Embrace it. Change. Everything is a change. You cannot be the same person 10 years ago with who you are today, it's not possible. So with a child, it's the same. When you have a child, it's a new you. But what type of you do you want to be? What type of you? Remember, is the spiritual warfare is there. Women who doesn't allow their baby father to see the child because when they were in, in labor, they wasn't there. During the pregnancy, they wasn't there because they they've done they raised the, the children on their own until he got seven years old where was the father he wasn't there so because of that, 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 that they don't want to allow the child to see the father or the father was an alcoholic he used to beat me he used too many excuses too many reasons too many reasons 
it will affect your child. And you will, because it will affect your child, it will affect you. So when are you going to have the time to feel like a woman? The woman that you try to be. To try to be. You can't be. If you're not honest with yourself. The father is not there. It will affect you. Because your child, you will see something is wrong on her. She's missing her dad. But if the dad doesn't want to act like a dad, what can we do? You look, you do both. I do that. Most of the time, the dad will call. Some people who never had a dad, in, a father in their life, they don't know how to become a father, so they act shit. It's because they choose to act shit. Who needs to follow a shitty father? Oh, but we don't choose their parents. Yes, we don't choose their parents. But we choose what is good for the child. Is it good and healthy to see a, a father who doesn't want to take this, the, his responsibilities? Who doesn't even call her child? Who doesn't even know what the hell, which school? No. Is it really healthy? So you have to compensate. Com you, you need to readjust that lack of fatherhood in your child by you being stronger woman. That's where mothers, we step up. We're doing the father, we're doing the dad, we're doing the mom. Because we have no choice. And then it takes God and strength for us to, to keep up. Because we have to, to focus on the positive. That's why men, if you really want to change or have a healthier um, environment inside of your new family, you have to change. You have to pay attention on your wife. Because your wife will be your mirror. If you're a good husband, a good partner, your wife will be that strong woman. Because you will help her on that journey. Give her some time, helping her on her finances, taking care of the kids. You will do it together for her to have the time to be a, a woman. And it feels good when you have a healthy woman next to you. It feels good when you see all your achievements. You say, no, but that's my wife. And you say, yes, that's my wife. That's my partner. And you see her, she's beautiful. She looks happy. She is happy thanks to you. But if she looks miserable, put on weight, you can be also the cause. So it's no point to point your wife for your happiness or your lack or whatsoever. When you have a child, it is together, whether you like it or not. You have to change. Accept the change. Make yourself useful to her. For single ladies, single mothers, you are not alone. Take my example. I did it with God. What is some impossible? A lot of people used to say you will never lose weight, you will never go back, you will never. Nah, I've done it all and I'm still doing it. I focus on the positive, the rest is memories. It's gonna be hard, it was hard, but today it's amazing. It is amazing. When you don't have the support of the father, is one thing. You may not have it financially, but if he is at least willing to be part in the, in the life of your child, live, live it. I see it, with, I take my own example. The fact we are not together with my, my partner, my, the father of my boys, my three boys, but he become, we can say, I will not say best friend, come on, but we are in a very good re relationship now. Very good uh, friendship, I would say. As soon as I have a problem, it's always there for the children. I think if I can be who I am today, it's because somewhere I know he's there for his child. It's just enough. And I've been lucky, yes, I must admit, I've been lucky. 
for that. But I, it wasn't always like this. So that's why I can advise you, woman. You need to forgive the fathers. We don't choose, they make mistakes. You need to forgive them. If you really want to be the woman that you are, let the father be part in the children's life. For you to breathe. For you to have time to focus on something else. It's important. You cannot be beautiful, successful if you don't change your organization. If the father is willing to help you, accept his help. You took pride because you were straight. Pride is not good. It will kill you. It will give you blood pressure. It will give you spots. There's no point. Accept his help for you to shine like a diamond. Is a reward. Don't spend your time complaining that it is hard. Why? And don't spend your time comparing yourself to others. Everyone works as, um, at his own path, own way, own time. Give yourself some time to breathe. Sometimes go back to meditation. If you want to cry, cry is normal. Depression, everybody suffers of it one day or another. Especially after having children, after a child, after a birth. Depression. Because it's a, it's a big change for your body. It's a big change for your organization, for your sleeping. It's a big change. Keep praying. Stay positive. When you see you can't no more, talk speak to your midwife, go to your doctor, go to your therapist, find a solution, but don't accept the devil to eat your mind. If you accept it, it will eat you alive. And it will eat you and your child. That's why you see a lot of child trauma doing foolishness on the street. Because they hasn't been supported by their own family. They choose the easiest way. Anger. Mm -mm. Communicate. is talking. Have a conversation. I hope this manual helped you. Oh, oh I didn't want it to stay long. Bon, it was long. But. Oh, uh, I advise you to share it with your friend. Share it to those people who doesn't want to hear the truth. And let me know what you think about it. If you have any comments, any suggestions, Please, it's time. Give it to me on DM. I'm here for that. I see you Friday. Pour les Français, les Francophones, on se revoit vendredi avec le même topic. Je vous embrasse. Bonne nuit.